what is up everybody it is cold as you guys can see you can see my breath um, we are here in the frigid cold Illinois weather for the winter so we got adventurous one out here um, so one of the tests that we wanted to do just because it's always a good thing to test your equipment before you go actually go and use it out on the trails um, luckily when we were down in Florida we had some amazing weather we didn't need the heater um, but I'm still spectacle about that. I still want to make sure that everything works properly. So what better way to do this than test it in our own driveway before we actually take it out and use a full hardcore in some of this weather and get stuck and stranded out there without a heater. So we are going to test that out today. Stay tuned. Now, just so you guys can see, here's my here's my phone. I'm trying to get focused in on that a little bit so you guys can see. It is nine degrees, feels like negative one. So it is super cold out. We just pulled this out, so it's been it's been inside for a little bit. Um, but we got the heater turned on. I'm sorry, the heater's not turned on yet. Um, right now, it's saying it's ten degrees Celsius in here. Now this is a little warm in here still so we are going to let this cool down as much as we can we want this thing we want this thing to get super cold like it is outside so we're going to leave the door open for a little bit we want it to get cold because we want to see how fast it heats up and how long it takes to do that um, one of the other tests that we were thinking about doing was hooking up the hose to here and hooking our roof to the rooftop tent back up here so that we can actually deploy that out hook it all up and test that as well but i'm not sure if we want to do that yet i want to hear from you guys if you want us to do that we'll do that and we'll make a, a separate video strictly for that as the winter continues to progress through the illinois area this will not be the last time we have this last night it was about negative 22 for the cold so we woke up super cold this morning um i should have done this last night apologize but still negative one degrees right now it's supposed to still be cold tonight and it's not supposed to warm up till tomorrow so we're going to give it a test tonight see how well it works and see if it maintains the heat you know that's our big thing we want to make sure the insulation and stuff that we did inside here we want to make sure that stays and we can stay warm all night and and super cold temperatures like this if we decide to go overlanding up in alaska or some of the other really cold areas up north like in canada and that kind of stuff so I'm gonna let it sit here for a little bit longer and we are going to head back up into work since we can't get our windshield changed so that's going to be another episode but make sure you guys check that out um up on the upper right hand corner once we do get that actually launched and get the windshield changed um so there's a, i guess there's two different types of windshields for this so if you guys are getting your windshields changed for the bronco sport make sure you guys know there's two different types of windshields even with all the safety features mine had all the safety features they had all that correct it was down below there's four wires and on my windshield there's four of them now the windshield he brought out only had two wires um i know two of them were for the heater he said but he wasn't even sure what the other two were for they're not sure if it's for an internal antenna if you guys know some more for more information on that that'd be great but i'm not even sure what the what the other two would be used for um, unless it's an additional heater for the other side but they have two different flavors of that windshield for the bronco sport with the um, ford assist 360 safety feature so make sure you guys um, know that and if you guys can help safe light out and some of the other people doing that kind of stuff basically just lift the cow panel a little bit um, on the passenger side and you'll see if it's got four or two wires so okay everybody we are back finally seven o'clock at night got the temperature dropped all the way down right now it's nine degrees feels like negative two with the wind chill so let's jump in the trailer and see what that temperature looks like so see negative six degrees celsius so first thing we're gonna do is we are going to turn this on and let's see how long it takes to 
start heating this up. Sorry about that. GoPro is going dead. So we're going to try to do our best to get some times for you guys. So we're going to see how long it takes to start warming us up. So negative six degrees Celsius starting the timer now. And we have this set. Oops. So it's gonna go to it's gonna go to a positive 16 degrees Celsius. So let's start warming it up. So one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna hang out here. Got the TV going. It's positive 16 still, so we'll go back to the actual temperature. Right now, it's pulling a lot of power for here. You can see it it went all the way down to 11.82 because there's a glow plug back there. What it's doing right now is it's warming up the chamber, getting the um, chamber nice and warm so that it can fire off. And that flickering and the noise, you can see back there. You hear it? As the fuel pump starting to inject some fuel into the chamber. Here in a second, you're going to see the smoke start rolling off where it ignites out. Okay, so we're about two minutes into this and it's finally starting to come up and bring it online the fan. The fan started to spool up a lot faster. I can smell the diesel. It's starting to flow through and ignite you can smell it up oh, there's the smoke you see it starting to come out maybe I don't know if you can see that in the video but it is starting to smoke a little bit and with diesel heaters like this um, white smokes always a good thing um, so it's negative five degrees Celsius okay so that means it's burning clean right there and it's gonna it's gonna kick this fan up really fast. Glow plugs kicked off, it's ignited, it's detected a flame, and you can hear the fan. So the faster the fan's going, the faster the fuel pump's going because that's the fast they started to pump a whole bunch of diesel in there and start burning it off. So just so you guys know that how this how the system kind of works. So this is just kind of more of a us playing around with the system when our driveway because we don't really want to get stuck out in the middle of somewhere and not have the heat because this is cold so, like i said i'm hoping you guys like this we're going to do everything possible to try to show you guys what this can do and here in a second i'm getting ready to shut this because i can smell the fumes and everything so we're going to shut this and shut this all up close it all up and let it start warming up so these controls here, if you can see, this here shows the temperature of the burn chamber. Right now it's about medium. Here in a second you'll see the red start kicking on where it's actually heated up and warmed up to its fullest potential and it's going to start blowing a lot of hot air. Right now it's kind of warm, not fully 100%, but yeah. And this is only about maybe four minutes in and it starts really kicking up and getting going now the only other thing that you would have a problem with maybe is <clears throat> the only other thing that you might have a problem with is in cold weather like this um, we did not put any in there but they have a solution called diesel 911 it's got a small blend of ethanol and some other stuff in there to help you keep your diesel from gelling up that's the only thing I could see a problem with tonight with us testing this out is that diesel might gel up as it's running through there because of how cold it is but we're gonna give it a shot that's the whole purpose of this so let me take it back over here as you guys can see we got the red lines now showing that the chambers to the fullest potential and we have a lot more heat coming out that vent right there so we don't have the rooftop tin on it's just this so we're going to hang out here for a little bit and we'll see you in a little bit as the temperature starts to climb up and come up. So, Okay, just to give you guys a quick update, we are up to negative 3 degrees Celsius in here now. Now this does take a little bit for it to catch up and get the temperature, but I can definitely feel down here there's a lot of heat coming off that vent. Um, up here uh, towards the ceiling still really, really cool. 
So, um, definitely working. Take a look outside real quick. Still doing really good. You can hear that pump just going crazy right now. We're pumping a whole bunch of fuel in. So, negative three degrees Celsius. And we're about mm, 10 minutes into this now. So, not too terribly bad. We're going to make sure it maintains itself and stays to a good, decent temperature. So, this could be usable at night and in colder weather. So, we're at negative two degrees now. Okay, to give you guys an update now, we had to turn that down from the 16 degrees we had it set for, and I turned it down to 10 degrees. So we got it set for, it's at 13 degrees Celsius right now. So we turned it down to 9 degrees Celsius, because it's just getting roasting hot in here. So definitely, definitely is a really good unit that works really good. And as you can see, you can see some icing and stuff here from the edging, but for the most part, it's actually, you know, the door's all nice and warm now, and everything's all warmed up. So, got it down to a minimum as far as what the heat needs to be. So, it'll probably cool down a little bit in here because of how cold it is outside. So, we're going to monitor for a little bit, and we're going to see how well it maintains. And if it kicks back up, we'll turn the camera back on and give you guys some more information and show you guys what's going on. So, like I said, for the most part... It's doing pretty good um nice thing about this is it's a dry heat it's not like the propane like the liquid propane or anything like that the radiant heat where it'll build condensation inside here it kind of keeps it in a, in a dry um environment so that we don't have a whole bunch of moisture and condensation so that's a nice thing about it and once it gets up to temperature as you can see the voltage goes right back up to where it should be right now we are not plugged into anything it's we're running strictly off of power and of course we got the stereo and the tv going and whatnot so but yeah see how fast it's rising still so good thing is it's insulated pretty good um but you can you can definitely feel in some areas how it's a little cold around the door and stuff um but i think that's just you can't really do anything about that it just needs to be sealed up um, maybe a little bit better, but I don't know how we can do that. This has a rubber gasket between here, but um, Walls and everything are all warmed up now and yeah, so I I think it worked out really good. So Just continue to sit here and Let it run for a little bit and see how well it works and see how well it maintains this heat at this position Because right now it's at 16 degrees Celsius. It is still pretty warm in here We might actually open up this fan up here and let some of the heat out a little bit uh, because it's pretty pretty toasty in here we want to try to get as close as possible to the 10 degrees celsius so to see to see how well and see how long it maintains it and, and tries to keep it around that temperature so that's the whole goal on this is like i said we're just doing some testing on this we want to make sure that everything works we want to make sure we understand how it works and how well um, we need it or how, how to dial it in so that we are not running into these issues out on the trails and freezing or not even having heat so like i said we're gonna play with it a little more and i'm gonna open this probably open this up because it's pretty warm in here so see you in a little bit okay quick update so check this out this thermostat is not as fast as you think it would be with updating the temperature we just opened the door up <laughs> it's pretty cold in here um i did have to take off my jacket and so i'm just kind of chilling here in a hoodie and um we cooled it down a lot but it's still saying it's 17 degrees celsius that is not accurate um so we're gonna wait and give it a few minutes to see what the the time frame is for that to actually come down to the right temperature um it might not i don't know so we're uh, like i guess this is all part of just playing around with this whole system because we're just we, we don't know it's it's a chinese knockoff of a wabasto um i think it works pretty good so far um but we are still wanting to learn all these kinks and all these problems so that when we're on the trails we're not running into these problems we want to we want to know this know our tools and how they work and we don't want to be sitting there struggling trying to stay warm and that kind of stuff so we're going to continue to monitor it and see what the kind of delay it is and um, we might actually get another thermostat in here to see what true temperature is 
um, according to some of this. Um, it actually just went up. It went up to 18 degrees Celsius. That don't seem right. So, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna let it sit here for a little bit, and we're gonna see what happens and see if it maintains itself and keeps it at this temperature. Like I said, we're trying to keep it more around 10 degrees Celsius, maybe. Um, which I'm not sure what that is in degrees Fahrenheit, but I'll put that on the screen here in a second. Should be that. Um, but we want to try to keep it around 65, 70 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit um, to kind of keep it a little warmer in here and more comfortable. I'm one that just likes to sleep with a little bit cool. Um, I don't want it to be super hot, so 65 is probably good for me. Um, GoPro is doing some weird stuff. It keeps flashing really bad. I don't know if it's like... So I got plenty of storage, but yeah, we'll keep monitoring it. Like I said, there she is, 18 degrees Celsius. This burn chamber is still going good, but the fan is, has calmed down a lot. And as you saw from the video, it is not, it is not the fuel pump's not going as fast out there. So okay, so we've been at it about two and a half hours now, just kind of chilling out here, watching some TV, seeing how well the heater works, and we're right around. 31 degrees, 30 degrees Celsius. Um, now, it's actually still pretty comfortable in here because there is a small draft over here on the window. As you can see, we do have some leaking going on where some cool air is coming in. Um, so we got some condensation there. But for the most part, it's actually all dry besides around the windows. And you can see down there, got some frost forming on where the seal it's not sealed up very well but I don't know for the most part I think it's doing pretty good so kind of helps because this runs this heater runs constantly when when it's running it have, the fan and everything never shut down um, so the temperature will continue to try to rise which I don't think that thermostat actually works 100% to that temperature so we're gonna get a Wi-Fi one or a Bluetooth one my brother's got that he's gonna let us borrow just to put in here so we can test out and see if that temperature kind of matches that and kind of monitor it that way so that'll be the next test that we add into there so for tonight we're gonna to power it down and head inside relax and go from there so we'll see you on the next test